Good morning, everyone. My name is Terry, and I am here at the City of North Miami Beach Library doing the English Cafe today with you. Do you remember the last time we did words that were functions? They were compressed words. As you probably know, in the United States, people tend to speak not only fast, but they reduce a lot of words. They are also called reduction words, and there are many of them. But um, right now, we're going to try to go over the most popular ones, OK? For instance, your. This word, as is spelled out, sometimes is shortened like this, as in this sentence. Is that your brother? Your brother. Is that your brother? Do that in your house. Do that in your house. Your, your, your. Not your, your. Can you show me your book? Can you show me your book? Your. The pronunciation is quick and it bonds the sentence together. Your. Can you show me your book? How about this one? This is close, like your, but it is our. Our, we also just pronounce the R. Our family is big. R. It's like the letter R. You do completely without the OU. Our house is big. Our library is fun. Our library. Our. Our library is fun. He has our cat. Okay, how about these pronouns? His, her, and them. Most of the time, these words, when they are followed by other words, they get really shortened and they get pronounced as is, er, and m, as I have his phone, I have his phone, I have his phone. It sort of stretches, but it's really quick. I have his phone. I have her phone. I have her phone. I gave it to them. I gave it to them. It's almost like I gave it to them. I gave it to them. Of course, if the sentence starts by his, her, or them, it's pronounced completely. His phone, her phone. Let's take a look at them. It's only when these pronouns I are, have another word in front of it that it's shortened like that, okay? I have his phone, I have her phone, I gave it to them. I gave it to them. Okay, this is a contraction. They are, as you probably know, and when you put a hyphen here, you pronounce there. There. I think they're going home. I think they're going home. You pronounce there, not they are. You don't pronounce they are. You say, I think they're going home. They're planning to go to the party. They're planning. They're. They're planning to go to the party. How about didn't? This is a very common mistake that we all make, and we sound like we're not from here when we mispronounce it. And it's pronounced didn't. 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 Your tongue goes up on the un, didn't. Like in, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know, I didn't, didn't. I didn't know. How about this one? This is the correct sentence, how it's written. And if you're slowly talking, you can say, I don't know, I don't know. But this is not the way we speak. 
in the United States? We would say, I don't know. I don't know. Some people may even say, I do know. I do know. And even it could get as small as this. I don't know. I don't know. And sometimes your kids may go, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't even put that one here. But that means I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And that's all our words for today. I hope you repeat them. I hope you listen to what I just pronounced. And I am sure you will improve. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.